G'day guys, this is Lil Tomo here again with another Sonic the Hedgehog item review. As we all know, this is a little blue guy, Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, he's currently tied up in chains. I don't know why or how, so I'm just going to put him aside and let him figure that out for himself. Anyway, so the item I'm about to review is um, one of the most interesting ones that I have, I think, anyway. It's a Sonic the Hedgehog game accessory keychain. That's what I'm going to call it. Or just game accessory. Anyway, it's a yeah, Sonic the Hedgehog game accessory keychain review. Now, this item is basically an accessory. It's meant to basically connect to your other items, aka uh, your PSP, DS, or your Wii. Now, as far as the Wii goes, I'm not too sure, but we'll get into it and we'll go from there. Now, this has been released in Japan, though, however, I did get this in the UK, so um, I'm a bit itchy on its actual date of you know release in terms of when it was actually released as he doesn't actually have a date per se uh, not that I can see anyway so I'm not too sure of the date if somebody knows if somebody's out there knows awesome just give me the heads up and um, I'll you know add that in however it, you know it was released roughly in Japan um, as you can see it's got a bunch of uh, Japanese singles so I'm guessing so um, the actual seller though was from the UK so we'll get straight into the actual item itself <coughs> oh hello and here it is well outside of its wrapping now everything that you're seeing right now is basically what's meant to come with it this is really not needed now if you're one of those um collectors that'll be anal about stuff like that then by all means go get it the only difference is you get this like little text barcode thing like seriously who, who really cares about that um, before we get the actual item itself we'll look at the actual box now I really do like the design of the actual box even though it kind of looks gives it a cat cowish feeling you know with the whites and blacks but it, it works I, I think it does um, it's predominantly um, centered by black and white even by the actual strap itself but there is obviously other colors um, and I really do like how it juxtaposes itself with the actual blue. Somehow black and blue, black, white and blue work. I don't know how that works in the art world. Maybe if someone watches that they can tell me. It, it suits it. Now the actual label itself is, I'm guessing it says game accessory. I'm guessing. Obviously I can't read this, but that's what I'm guessing. It's got this orange color. I, I don't know how that works, to be honest. Orange with black. Orange is one of my favorite colors, however how it works with black not too sure you got the two little red signs there that looks like a stop sign and you got all that at the actual back itself it's a little more creative once again you've got the typical logo from the front obviously the strap and you've got a volcano sign which i don't know why it has that there it's meant to show impact or something i'm not too sure anyway enough about that We'll get into I think, the actual item itself. Now it's a two-part piece, meaning you got a, you still got yourself a cardboard and you got yourself a plastic pit. It's basically a slidable one, so it slides in, slides out. Once again, this I guess ideally would be recommended if not needed, meant because it is part of the extra accessory. But yeah, that's what it is. And this is the actual um, the raw piece itself. Uh, I'm going to see if I can remove this. Uh, there we go. It's quite easily removed. Well, you can remove it quite easily. Uh, before we get to the actual item, it's basically just hinged on by these little clips. Nothing too drastic there. If you can't remove that item out of this, then I think you have issues. But that's me. That's that. And this is the actual keychain. I. Oh, uh, flip it around. There we go. Now it's a pretty nice keychain. Now the thing, the, the thing interest or the interesting thing about this is it says it's news for the PSP, DS, and Wii. Now the Wii, uh, sorry, the DS and the PSP, I understand because you have this. Now I don't have a Wii, and even if you had a Wii, I don't know why you would want to connect something like this there. It, it kind of defeats the purpose. It kind of looks retarded, you know. But I guess you can do it as to how your good your guess is as good as mine anyway so we get to the actual strap itself before we get to the little 
heady dimble dumble thing. Um, you have uh, let's see if you can get it. There we go. Uh, you have classic Sun of the Hedgehog pose, the one you will see down there. You also have Towers Mile Prowler, and it just basically circulates. The thing that is quite interesting is this actual wording, the word Sonic. Now, anybody that knows anything about Sonic, that symbol is from, what was it again, Sonic, uh, what was it again called? Sonic in the Secret Rings, I think that's what it was referred to. Uh, it's the one where it's like an Egyptian theme or whatnot. Yeah, Sonic in the Secret Rings. I, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it was called. I'll check it up once this video is done, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Um, I'm trying to th think if that was... The, it, wa it wasn't Sonic Colors and it wasn't Sonic and the Black Knight. Um, yeah, it's, it should be Sonic and the Secret Rings. The Egyptian theme one anyway for the actual... Wii, which I quite liked. Anyway, so that's what it is. It, it just circulates across. Nothing too special, nothing too grand, which is alright. Now, the inside of it is just plain white. Nothing crazy inside. Now, it is held by a actual little ball and chain. Very simplistic aluminium, if best. Nothing, it's, it's sturdy, but it's not going to be crazy strong. Now, this is the actual Sonic the Hedgehog symbol. Now, this is quite interesting. It's like a little pluffy thing. It's got actual some, I don't know what it's, I don't know what's inside it, but it's like a little cushion of air. It doesn't make any noises, but it's actually quite interesting. But that's what it is, really. Um, it's a nice design, it's it's cute. It's practical use, I wouldn't say it has much. Like, this does look bigger than the actual PSP and the, and the DS. Now, I know there are some people that are into the whole accessories where the accessory itself is bigger than the actual item itself. I find that to be quite stupid, to be honest. My opinion, of course. Um, mainly because an accessory is just meant to make it the main unit, or the main, in my, 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 gym, in my personal opinion, meant to make the main unit more appealing. If it supersides it, it looks like the main unit becomes the accessory and it defeats the purpose, in my opinion, anyway. So that's the actual item itself. Now, as I mentioned, it was released in Japan. However, I got this from the UK. It's actual data manufacturer. I have no clue. It doesn't give you an indication. However, that being said, I did purchase it roughly a couple of years back. So I'll probably say 2000 and... Get a better view of that, actually. 2007 so like I said I can't put that in concrete terms but it is roughly 2007 its price surprisingly enough was $15 what it is now I'm not too sure but it is roughly about $15 um, so you are looking at the profit uh, that price tag I have seen it a few times top up in you now they do vary from you know 20 maximum I saw for the 25 I was like whoa that's a interesting price uh, lowest I saw it was for roughly about $12 if I'm not mistaken so anyway guys that's the actual item itself and I hope you enjoy the review if you have any questions or you have any information that I obviously skipped out on please look by all means give me the heads up and uh, we'll go from there anyway guys speed on and thanks for viewing